For over the course of human history, bridges have assisted mankind in traversing otherwise impossible terrains as well as accelerating human development. 2250 BC to 1200 BC of the Megalian time period, bridges were predominantly made of raw trees, examples being the double living root bridge in the East Khasi Hills of India. The bridge's materials include tree roots of the Fiscus elastic tree, bamboo, and the Arica palm trunks. Now, the purpose was limited to light foot traffic, carrying humans and their lightweight objects such as food, animals, or firewood. Now, the creation of the first bridge helped expedite efficiency in human travel and allowed access to other environments for other types of resources, such as stone. Stone bridges came into use, examples being the Anji Bridge of China and the Arco Digo Bridge of Greece. Materials consisted of sandstone, limestone, marble, and travertine. With their additional structural integrity, the purposes of stone bridges could be extended to aqueducts, horse-drawn carriages, recreation, or the centralization of a country or nation. This bridge type meant large environmental obstacles such as rivers and valleys could be traversed, transporting hundreds of soldiers, tons of materials, food, people, and the resources of society. From 1523 to 1779, timber bridges such as the Kintai Bridge of Japan was used. Materials included bamboo, oak, cedar, mahogany, and pine. Unlike stone, timber bridges could be constructed quickly with comparable strength to stone, making it great for mostly military, trade, and foot traffic purposes. The accessible and timber materials compared to stone meant bridges could be mass-produced, interconnecting societies between vast environmental obstacles at a large quantity. 1779 marked the creation of the Iron Bridge of England, where iron is still used in bridges today. Its materials include wrought iron, cast iron, pig iron, sheet iron, and more. With greater resistance to compression and tension, locomotives, cars, and large-scale vehicles could be transported. This revolutionized society by making goods of various kinds accessible to all parts of the globe. People and goods can now travel in large quantities, accelerating the Industrial Revolution and connecting the world's societies. Steel bridges like the Sydney Harbour Bridge were used from 1883 to the modern day. Materials include high carbon steel, tool steels, and steel alloys such as cobalt steel and nickel chromium. Being a refined version of iron, steel bridges also allowed heavy vehicles to traverse rivers, though this time in dozens or even hundreds simultaneously. Bridges can be made from different alloys for resistance to heat, compression, shear force, or more. This meant bridges can specialize in this role, maximizing travel efficiency of transporting people, goods, vehicles, building parts, or more. Suspension bridges were also used from 1801 AD to today. Examples include the Golden Gate Bridge of the USA. The bridge consists of tightly bound steel wire, as is cables, steel alloys for the frame, and steel reinforced concrete for its deck foundation. Its purpose is to also transport vehicles, but some can also be lifted and disconnect to temporarily let ships under it pass. This bridge type revolutionized society by being more resilient to natural disasters like earthquakes and can also be built in large bodies of water where land anchors are minimal, connecting harbors and islands. Concrete bridges were actually used from 200 BC to the present day. The Romans first used a material called Opus Caementicium and Puzzolana as their concrete substitute. Modern concrete now consists of Portland cement, asphalt cement, lime creek, and more. Examples like the Maidenburg Border Bridge also allows water traffic and even ships to pass. Additionally, concrete is very accessible and cheap to mass produce. Its simple block storage system makes it an economically viable material in overpasses, viaducts, and bridges in general. Overall, it's hoped that this educates about bridges and serves as an introduction to one of mankind's most fundamental and vital creations.